Damon Trini, Alfred Wing, this documentary on Netflix called The Lucy Blackman, like she went missing in 2000 in Japan, Tokyo, like when she was only 21 years old, like she went there to work there as a, like I guess hostess as a, in this place where she was doing this job as a hostess, but uh, I guess one day her dad, she he got a call that Lucy went missing. After getting that call, he was like, you know, he didn't believe it at first that Lucy went uh, missing. Then we see in this documentary, it actually shows you uh, all these people who were in like involved in this investigation back then in 2000. All these experts, like one journalist. Uh, this detective, this police, all these people who work on this case and they come on and they, they give their opinion what happened back then and uh, like what were they doing and what they found end of this. So what do I think about this documentary? Well, I didn't know about this uh, Lucy uh, Blackman who I guess she went there when she was only, only 21 years old. I don't know how these parents sent their kids there all the way in other uh, part of the world, how do you send them throughout this, uh, like this documentary? I was thinking in my head, like, how could you send your kid so far away <laughs> to work as a hostess? Like, then again, I guess the dad was explaining, you know, this young people, they want to see the world. And, uh, and one guy, he comes on and he actually talks about back then, uh, nobody thought Japan was actually dangerous place and you know you just work there try to work and have good time uh back then i guess back then anyway i guess it was safe uh, people were thinking uh but after this thing happened to lucy i guess uh, people got more alert uh watching this documentary is actually uh, from beginning uh, especially when you go toward the end uh, I was really uh, sad watching it. I was like, wow, this is really sad. <laughs> While this documentary is actually quite entertaining, uh, it does show you some of this footage from uh, Tokyo. I thought looking at them was uh, quite interesting. It is obviously this, like Netflix has them, this crime uh, scene investigation type series they have. Like there was a couple of days, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they dropped another one. This one is one of it. I guess there is the other uh, documentary out there on Lucy Blackman because I guess she was like when she went missing, it was a huge headline back then. Uh, there was a lot of international pressure on Japan to find her, I guess, uh, although they did find her end of it. So which I, I was relieved end of this. I was like, whoa, because, you know, you don't want to be uh, like wasting your time watching a documentary. Like you just hear them. She went missing. They never found uh, like the person dead or alive. Uh, uh, like end of it, you want to know that the person was uh, found. So I, I thought overall watching this documentary, well, it was quite emotional. Same time, I was really mad at this parent. Like why you are sending your kids uh, far away land? <laughs> it's really far. Uh, even from England, although England is far from here, but you know, uh, but like I guess uh, I don't get it. Why would he send her daughter? And the way this documentary is start, you will think like this dad he doesn't care about her. No, he does care. I guess that's how this documentary starts. Like as it went on, you saw he did care about his daughter. But even I was beginning of his document. I was like, why this dad he just doesn't believe his daughter went missing? Even if you don't find your kid for one hour, you lose your mind. You do not go ahead and say, no, uh, uh, I don't think she's missing. <laughs> Who says that? I guess this guy does. Uh, but I don't think he was a bad dad or anything like that because I don't know him. Uh, but I, it rarely bothered me when the show starts with him saying that. <laughs> I was like, what kind of dad says that? But anyway, uh, overall, this documentary, I thought it was quite uh, well done, like, like from my perspective, like I didn't know this Lucy Blackman went missing. If you didn't know her about her story or anything like that, you will find this documentary was quite satisfying. Overall, very well made. And I, I thought it's, it's good if you are into this crime scene drama. Uh, and I, I really like all these uh, people are uh, from Tokyo who work on this case. They actually came on this uh, documentary and they gave their opinion, you know, uh, I guess some of the thing is not dubbed, I guess, but they do give you subtitles. So, you know, 
it, overall, it is quite a good watch for me. And that's my thought on this. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this documentary series? Documentary. If you enjoyed my best review, don't forget my other reviews on other documentary. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.